Hello everyone, this is Roland Jung. I want to talk a little bit about the Retail Application Center we have here and how it can service us. So of course, if we run this down a little bit, you can see a small video here. From ePlan, we can directly process all the drilling information. Now, what is the drilling information? You can actually see the drilling information here. As soon as you place something on your panel layout, on every single surface, there is, as you can see, a hole. If I take away this component, there is no hole. If I actually show you the device itself, a little bit like your shadow. There is some sun, you have a shadow. If you use ePlan, every single component will and might have some drilling manufacturing information. It is actually a secret of ePlan. It's inside ePlan that this happens. The object itself does not have a hole. It's basically the object we are placed on, which is the backplate, which now has a certain hole. Now, these details, like in this case here, it's a thread six millimeter that is actually required exactly in a specific position. This thread is not defined necessarily by you, a customer. It is often defined even one step further away, it's defined in the ePlan data portal when you actually got the part. Now, of course, as you know, at the Retail Application Center, we will share with you the tool set that we use. We only have 20 tools we can actually put on our machine. So please ask for the tool set that is on our machine, which is precisely here listed. We have 20 tools. All these different tools are there. We have different taps. We have different drill sets. Um, and of course, as you can imagine, if I ask for a 4.8 millimeter drill, 4.5 is the smaller one, 5.1 or 11 is a bigger one. Now in this tool selection here, you can precisely say, what do we do with our drill holes? Will we actually go to the next larger one? Makes sense if we drill holes. If we take a thread, we should actually pick the next smaller one, right? So you can control exactly what to do with exceptions. So here, once you run this, a small pop-up menu will show up and it will actually tell you 36 of your cutouts were perfectly in line with the tool sets. Eight of them, were exported alternatively. What does that mean? Let's take a look at the details. And now you have to decide as an ePlan user whether these specific details, as you can see here, NC export, and you can double click on the object and it will actually show you the object. Here it says, I do not have a 25 millimeter hole, but I can use it as milled. Okay, this is cool. I'm fine with it. So I accept it. The next one here. I was asking to drill a hole of 5.0. Uh, it is actually manufacturing a 5.11. There's a difference of 0.11 millimeter. It makes it a little bit small, bigger than what I expect. Okay, I'm fine with it. Then I have another one. This one here. This is cool. So if I look at it. This is actually to make sure that these objects don't wobble, you know, when they are placed. You can actually drill here some ex extra holes. Now, what is actually uh, recommended by the manufacturer is a 4.2 thread. But instead, we actually pick the 4.4. Actually, alternatively, no, the other way around. Because we said a 4.4 is requested it's going to go for the next smaller one because it doesn't make any sense that I go with the next bigger one because the hole that is in that component only has a certain size. So I have to go with a smaller screw. So here, the 4.2, when you look back at the tool sets, the 4.2, which one was that? So the 4.2 is actually, to be very precise here, the 4.2 tap is an 832 tap. If I'm happy with it, this is perfect and I can accept it. Now, of course, this is the idea behind the scene is it's up to you. The machine can only do that many uh, tools, 20 of them. So you have to now decide whether you accept it or there is an alternative. 
we can go back to the original data of this particular part and adapt the data to exactly match the tool set that we have. That's one option. But really, you know, to be honest, who cares? It's okay. Now, the other thing we can do is we can communicate this difference with Retel, and then we can see if they may have an alternative tool set which may actually, in line with these 20, have, instead of what I was asking for, if they have exactly the tool set that I need. So they could maybe replace it. There might be an extra fee, but I get exactly what I requested. Okay? But bear with me. These are the only tools right now that are there. So, of course, you cannot expect to have any other holes unless you change the tools. And you may have to... To, to, to negotiate this with, with Retail. But otherwise, you can always address these changes one by one, check out if they make sense, and if they do make sense, this is perfect. That means you can take this project as it is right now, just upload it as I described in an earlier video here to eManage, and then simply share it with rac at retail.ca. These are just external users you can assign. Here I have a few like this. I've already done this. I uploaded this project here and I already shared it here in my details in the sharing section to the external user RAC, RAC at retail.ca. And this will basically send a message to the RAC at retail here in Canada and they will be able to just simply download the project open a project, they will of course see exactly the same uh, details as what you can see here. You just have to confirm that this particular layout, in my case A1, with these errors, I'm good to go with it, so that they can simply go here and process it. This is the ideal transfer to the Perforex because you get exactly what you see here. Okay, so in detail, you can see where the holes are not exactly matching the tools. You can accept it or refuse it. If you do refuse it, you have to negotiate with Retail to see if they can adapt to your specific demands here. Or if you can allow yourself to have these small differences and just proceed and receive a drilled panel. Thank you. This was ePlan Canada helping out Retail Canada.